Vanderlei Silva is literally a guy that no one right now wants to fight. I've asked so many fighters, would they like to fight Vanderlei in their next fight? And they said, no, maybe down the road. Now tonight, he's got to remain focused. He can't take Atska lightly because Atska is the upset kid in some ways. Oh yeah, Atska made a big upset when he entered the pride for the first time. He fought against Marco Huas and he beat Marco Huas. Then he went to distance with Igor Vovchenchen, he went to distance with Hansel Gracie, but now he had a few losses. He wants to be back. He wants to show the people here in his hometown in Japan that he still is in the game. I don't know about this. But the thing is, with Vanderlei Silva, one of the most dangerous strikers for sure, Vanderlei is in a tough situation. If the fight goes the distance, are people going to think that he's gotten weaker? In a way, there's a lot of pressure on him to destroy Atsuka, who's lost his last couple fights. Yeah, it's like you said, if Otsuka, there's no loose situation. He fights the, the man of the man. If he loses, he, yeah, he loses against the middleweight champion. And sometimes that gives you the edge. If you've got nothing to lose, you will go 100%. And God knows it's going to work tonight. One thing is for sure, these two bald guys are going to go at it. Okay, there he is. The champion, Alexander Otsuka. Some feel that this is like taking a cow to the slaughterhouse. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But you never know. Because Vanderlei Silva, if you look at him, he's got a very piranha type of vibe to him. And that's a real carnivorous fish, if you're not familiar with it. And look at, he's got the stare down of stare downs. I've never seen a more violent looking specimen in any mixed martial art fight or ring as this guy on the right. And there, there's the man he just beat to win the Pride Middleweight Championships. I just wanted to add it, not even in dog fights we saw a stare down like this. No. This guy is a wild animal. He comes to terminate with extreme prejudice. Likes to punch, likes to knee, likes to kick. Oh, it's so silent in the guys here. We're waiting for that explosion. Oh, Vanderlei comes in off a low kick by Atsuka. Atsuka looks like he's gonna try and box with Vanderlei. And there's the, sh the shot there by Asuka. Mandalay got the plumb clinch. And Asuka almost got Mandalay on the ground. Good defensive work by Silva, but now he's up against the corner. Asuka really smart here so far. Faked like he wanted to kickbox with Mandalay, but then got the shot. Got in close, but he's got to watch out for the knees here. Okay, okay they're going to yeah, restart that. Oh, this is not good. This is not good for Atsuka. Because if he eats a punch, it's going to be a hard one coming in. Atsuka very relaxed here, boss. He's looking real good. He's, he, he's, it's like if, if Vendelay thought easy about this fight, and Oscar trained double as hard, upset. There he goes. He starts with the knees, which he's famous for. I don't think uh, Osuka is going to take him down. Vanderlei is very good at protecting himself from that. I think that this is almost a no-lose situation for Vanderlei because Asuka right now is very lightly regarded because he's gotten beat so many times. He lost two fights to Guy Mezger by knockout, got TKO'd by Quentin Jackson in his last fight. So he's really been on a losing streak for a while. If Vanderlei doesn't decimate Atsuka early, people are going to question Vanderlei's finishing power. If he goes the distance with Atsuka, people are going to question Vanderlei's abilities also. So Vanderlei, in some ways, really has to finish strong here to keep up that railroad of the aura that he can finish everybody he steps in with, because he finished Sakuraba twice. Yeah, he's got to, but... Otsuka has nothing to lose. When you come in, you got nothing to lose because you're already in a losing streak. It could make you a dangerous, dangerous opponent. 
Yeah. If I would have been Otsuka, I would have started raining bombs right from the butt from the start. But Vandalay would like that because he likes to trade with the guys. Even if he takes a knockdown, he'll get back up. He likes to trade. So if Asuka came out and rained punches, it would probably be disastrous. And I think he knows that. That's why it's better for him to stay close. He might need to eat, eat a couple knees to the body or to the arm or to the leg. Vandalay is going to get out of this position and start unloading here. Seven minutes left in this non-title fight. Vandalay's uh, Pride Middleweight Championship is not on the line tonight. That was a good punch. But conditioning is going to play a factor too, and all the guys from the shoot box can be very well conditioned. Um, you have to, if you train with guys like Ninja, you got to be in tip-top shape. So they make each other very strong. Yeah, good decision. Very good yeah. uh, decision by referee Yuji Shimada. Uh, looks like Atsuka uh, had a little adjustment there of his mouthpiece. Now, this is where Dan Bam is dangerous rushing in, but it's also dangerous for him if a person throws a straight punch, as we've seen in some of his fights. Bandley got put down by uh, Shungo Oyama when he fought him. And uh, or Sakuraba. Sakuraba put him down. Vitor Belfort put him down. Now, this is a bad position for Atsuka to be in because Vandalay on the ground is ruthless, even from the guard. We saw that against Dan Henderson. When he goes to the ground, he will try to knock you out. Yeah, he will not try to go for submissions. He likes the knockout. It's the predator thing in him. Yeah, and he can do it from the side, uh, from the half guard. You can uh, generate a lot of power. Better will be, of course, Simon. But he's got a lot of strength. He doesn't. His arms are not too long, so he can generate a lot of power. Also, uh, Vandalay uh, told me that he uh, on on one of his former opponents, Tito Ortiz, who is the current UFC light heavyweight champion, that uh, Tito is a UFC fighter, and that he would. Uh, he would have a hard time against Silva in Pride. But Vandalay wants to fight Tito Ortiz. That would have been Curtis. But Vandalay made the point that he fought Tito in the UFC. Now he wants Tito to come fight him in Pride to return the favor. Yeah, with the Pride rules, which are made for the Vandal and Silva. Good sprawl there by Silva. Now he's got the knee out of the uh, front face lock or guillotine choke. Atska pulls guard. Yeah, which was a very smart thing to do in that position because otherwise Vandalay would have stand up or kept raining knees to the head. Atska said that after he retires, he is interested in, in design. <laughs> Oh, what a good kick by Vanderlei Silva. I think Vanderlei has got some designs in this fight, and that's to destroy Atsuka. Yeah, that's uh, no surprise. Pretty much got it in every fight. <laughs> yeah. Atsuka also said he wants to open up an ice good. cream so shop. <laughs> yeah, and I told him, I said, don't do it here in uh, Japan. Go to California, you know, they where the sun almost shines. Right now we're in the dead of winter here in uh, Fukuoka, here for Cold Fury 2. Silva on the right, Atsuka on the left. Trading punches, Atsuka actually landed the right hand. Silva with a big right hand. Silva raging in, Silva drops Atsuka. Silva chopping away with that right hand. Knee by Silva. Tell me what you said, Steven. He wants to trade. It's like he wants, he gets hit, and then he shakes him up, and he goes harder. He should back up. He has no respect for Atsuka's punching power here. Now, there's that smirky smile on Vanderlei's face. Oh, we're going to go for that kick to the face, trying to set it up. Oh, he almost got the mount there. Oh, he's 
Good. A lot of he did the same thing with Sakuraba, remember? He stayed out of it all the time. Stayed, kept it on his feet. These guys are trained so much in takedown defense, it becomes instinctive to transition from standing to takedown to being taken down to back to standing again. Yeah, it used to be, oh, good left hand, trying to knock out Atsuka, Atsuka slipping out of the way of some of those punches. It used to be in the early days of mixed martial arts, it would be a takedown artist would only do a takedown, then that would be it. Or a jujitsu guy would, would pull the guard and then go for a submission. Or a stand-up fighter would hope to stand up. But now we have these fully facilitated fighters like the shootbox guys. They can go from one thing to another to another very seamlessly. Oh, no. Mounted position, boss. No, it could be the finish. It could be the end. He might try to choke him out here. It's going to be hard, though. It's hard, especially when you're in this position because you know the choke's going to come. Choke with gloves can pretty much do only uh, by surprise. Slip it in one second. But if you're already in a position to be choked, then you know, you know it's going to come. It's uh, pretty easy to defend. Vanderlei used to fight in Brazil with headbutts, with elbows, elbows to the back of the head. I'm sure he's thinking about those old days right now. No gloves. <laughs> yeah. But now the sport has evolved. It's truly becoming a mainstream sport. We've got a full book of rules. We've got protection for the fighters. Here at the Pride Fighting Championship. Oh, he oh, is going for that chub. Yeah. Oh, but he gave it up. Asuka almost uh, had Pendley wrapped that arm around his neck. <laughs> what I was saying is that we do have protection for the fighters. It is a contact sport. There is injury uh, possible, but these guys are trying to make the other guy quit, trying to make him tap out. Oh, and he tried to make him tap out right there, but Asuka knew. Some people might say, oh, well, kicking when they're down, it's barbaric. But the thing is, it's a sport now. A lot of these guys, it's hard to kick them in the head because they're not going to just stand there and wait for it. They're going to get out of the way. That was a high-pitched smack to the leg. <laughs> the foot and then kicks the leg. It's the best way to kick on the side because you hit with the shin and you hit him the side of his calf, which, which hurt a lot. It hurts a lot, trust me. Vanderlei just walking around, mugging a little bit now. Sakuraba style. Do you think it's possible that Vanderlei may be overconfident in this fight? That's exactly what I was thinking, because this is going to be the end of... Oh, oh try to stop and end it with a soccer kick. Vanderlei all over Atsuka near the end of that fight, but really wasn't trying to annihilate him, trying to finish him. I think he's saving it up. I think Vanderlei because he doesn't feel any fear of losing to Asuka, wants to put on a show here tonight. Yeah, he could have taken him lightly. Otsuka looks pretty fresh. And if I look at the corner of Vendelay, he's breathing heavy. Doesn't say anything because we saw him breathing heavy before. Look at his flourish here. Wow. He caught him with three of those right hands. Yep. Vendelay really likes that right hand. He likes the uppercut. He likes the overhand right. And that knee hit right upside the dome of Alexander Atsuka. Here's another angle, the trade, and that right hand grazed Van Vlei, and he smiled and he laughed at it like, oh, you want to trade, huh? Yeah, how about this right hand? Boom, oh, ouch. But he, he, he missed a couple of those. If any, if, if, if there be a criticism of Van Vlei, sometimes he tends to get a little wild when he gets in those punching exchanges. Yeah, that, that's the way to beat him, I guess. Yeah, but, that would yeah. be a game, good game plan for a fighter if he fought Van Vlei. Yeah. You know anybody that would, uh, I'm not trying to bait anyone. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Yeah. Oh, look at that soccer kick. Nice. <laughs> Loaded up in uh, my megabyte storage. Boss, if you were going to train a fighter, yes. or be close to a fighter that was going to fight Vanderlei, yes. how would you approach the fight? If I would be a striker, I would try, try to knock him out and uh, take myself from a takedown. That I would tell my student. Your student? Yes. Ah. I say, don't go to the ground, just uh, try to strike. Uh, you're a striker. Go. Strikes. <laughs> yeah, okay, and then uh, you, know, you yourself are going to be coming back, and it should be interesting. It should be very interesting. It may limit your cornering of fighters, but we'll get to a little bit more of this discussion later. Okay. 
Round two. This guy looks fresh. Oscar does look fresh, but so does Vanderlei. Vanderlei looking to land that right hand. I think Vanderlei's going to come out and enrage this fight, this round. I think he's going to explode. Yeah, he's got to he's got to win this fight by by submission or knockout to, to set his mark to keep keep him up. Oh, right up there. That was a good shot. A right hand to the body. We never see him go to the body. It was an uppercut. No, come on, come on. It's around the heart area. Body locked up against the ropes. Audience is total, total quiet. Nobody says anything. Everyone is looking right at this fight, waiting for the next move. Are they going to explode? Is Atsuka going to try and submit him? Is Atsuka going to try and turn this into an upset the same way he did against one of Vanderlei's countrymen, Marco Hua, some years ago? Odds are long that that'll happen, but nothing is impossible inside the ring of the Pride Fighting Championships. Although I'm not a betting man anymore. I gotta think that Vanderlei is gonna win this fight, but like I said before, if he doesn't destroy Atsuka, it's gonna, but you know, it's like, the, it's like in the movie Raging Bull. They said, e e either way you win. If you lose, then all those guys that didn't want to fight you want to fight you. Yeah. If you win, you still win. Oh, and here he comes in trying to win, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Because let's say he, he beats him on a decision, doesn't look impressively, then what, a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, I'll fight Vanley. Because every guy that we've talked to over the last couple days, to the man, have said that they do not want to fight Vanley in their next fight. Maybe down the road, they say. Yeah. Every guy. You were there with me, right next to me. Yep. Every yep. single guy. He's a fair individual. He's a knee coming. Because not only are you fighting his punches, his kicks, his knees, but you're fighting his mind, and you're fighting that glare, that stare. <laughs> oh! Knee to the head. Just reminding him. Yeah, that's actually what Sakuraba did to him, but he caught the knee, and he threw Sakuraba down with it. So you don't want to do that too many times, but maybe also guys think of the same thing. Vanderlei's balance is, a, is really exceptional. Yeah. Knowing when to drop his weight, when to squat. Yeah, but we, like, again, Marilla Ninja, he's got good takedowns, and I guess they train a lot together. Yeah. So. Now, just waiting at the edge of the chair for the explosion. Double drop kick attempt. We've seen that before. Atsuka has never really landed that, but it looks good. But then Bentley is just going to punish those legs. Bentley trying for what? A, was that a hook kick? Yeah. That was a hook kick. Oh, he's going to do a Sakuraba. <laughs> Oh, good defense there. That was total end of the dragon. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the Bob Wall, Bruce Lee fight scene. And Asuka. The groin defense. Right. We saw uh, Anthony Macias do that to Kazushi Sakuraba one time. Vandalay seemed to be having fun in this fight. Yeah, but uh, fighting an underdog, it's, uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. He should go like right straight to the body, left hook, high. So for combination. No, oh, so this this that, could be it. That's your kick, boss. That's my kick. That hurt him. That hurt him. It hurt him. Now he knows. He knows. There's one thing. When right. Vandalay gets somebody hurt, he knows it, and he goes for the finish. Whoa. Nice work by Oscar. Asuka turned what could have been a disastrous situation into a takedown. Now Vanderlei's on the bottom. Now what Vanderlei should do right now is hook his, make his car and squeeze his body, explosive, make explosions. Because he's hurt in his liver, the liver kick, and now he starts squeezing it. That was the thing I didn't do in my fight. What did you do? Look at that. Because it hurts your opponent. Especially when you've already been hit. Up. Yeah, Oscar's probably going to try to stay in this position now. 
doesn't go up, doesn't go down. Maybe he has his the, the, the arm bar in his memory that uh, there we go. He almost got Sakuraba in that arm bar. <laughs> oh no, Asuka got side mount against Bandit. Oh no, north south position. Oh, wow, at the end of Thank round you. two, Asuka was turning the tables literally on Vandalay Silva. Well, I told you, coming in as an underdog gives you more power for some reason. Nothing to lose. These are the worst people. There's no motivation. You think, well, this guy's lost his last three fights. He's been stopped his last three fights. He's lost to both chance and the Hendrick Gracie. If Vanderlei did not train properly, this could be the ultimate embarrassment if he lost this fight. This yep. would be disastrous. Now, he checked that kick. But not good. But he, oh, that right hand landed crisp. But Asuka has improved his stand-up, at least in a survival sense. And five minutes only. We got only five minutes left. Five minutes, it's... Five minutes, anything can happen. Like a knockout. Or maybe another takedown. Yeah, now here's the, you know, Vandalin went for the arm bar and Asuka got, now Asuka really learned a lot of lessons when he fought Quentin Jackson. I could, he threw the knee and then the round was over. And he probably, he's probably thinking, man, I wish that round was, was the first round. Going. Yes. Wow. This really was a really interesting uh, turn of events at the end of round two. Will Vandley come out and try and take out Atska? We're going to find out. Or will Atska try and, you know, this is, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's, it's uh, starting to be like a Marco Hua situation. Be yep. Because Vandley isn't injured and Marco Hua was injured before that fight. Yep, that's the difference. That's the difference. I said it in the opening. This could be if he comes in in shape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, last round. Last round. Five minutes, folks. Will it be five minutes of fury or will it be five minutes of trying to out grapple each other? Oh, he's, he's coming out trying to knock him out. Wants to stand him up. Took a little bit of a knee there. And Blake gets the takedown in the side mount. This could be trouble. As soon as Atsuka lets go of those overhooks, Vandalay's going to try and knee him. There's one. He's got that right knee set up now. He, uh, that uh, left arm of Atsuka can block the knee. Yeah, and it's early in the round, in the last round, so Vandalay's got time enough now. Good defensive movement by Asuka, avoiding knees, avoiding a soccer kick on his back in the infamous butt scoop position. Good kicks there, but they would have been more effective in the first round. No, it's not going to do any effect anymore, I think. The last four minutes. No, he's not going to be able to stop it. Oh. He tried to chop his head off right there and pulled out of a leg lock attempt there by Atsuka. Kicked in the knees from Atsuka. Stand him up. I think Vanley should back up. Listen to that crack. Wow. That resonated through the entire Fukuoka Green Mesa Hall here. <laughs> Expect fury, folks. <laughs> right hand counter by Vandalay. Vandalay with another right hand. Vandalay coming in. He! Asuka fighting smart, getting the body lock, surviving another furious flurry by Silva. Silva getting the underhook again. Okay. He's coming against the center of the ring. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, that right hand landed. It looks like it broke Asuka's nose. Oh, 
Okay. I doubt they'll stop it on this. No, they're not going to stop it. And with that right hand landed, I tell you, Asuka has taken some shots in this fight and he never went down. I think he's really been working his stand up. Heart has never been a question with Alexander Atsuka. And in this fight, he's really demonstrated his ability. Now, here, we're going to look at the uh, that right hand right there. Ooh, nice. it, was a, it was a chopping right hand. That one right that there. That one was probably it. Both of them landed. And it seemed like the second one was the one with the gunpowder in it. Boom. Oh, good shot. Yeah, the second one was the, because was the one. You really saw him flinch. And that knee that right knee. there. That if, if the punches didn't do it, the knee did it. Looks like the fight's over. The fight wow. is over. A little bit of an anti-climax there because, as we said, it was almost a lose-lose situation for Silva. Yeah, I guess the Dr. Ward let you fight with a broken nose. Kind of dangerous. And there we go, Vanderlei Silva. Victory again! Silva gets the win by Dr. Stoppage at 2 minutes, 22 seconds of round three. Two minutes, 22 seconds into the third round. Fight of Dr. Stoppage. Who we have in the back there? This really wasn't a surprise, but what was a surprise is the fact that Asuka hung so tough. A lot of people thought it was going to be over in the first minute or two. But like you said, he's an underdog. There's not a lot of motivation. He did good. He impressed me. You can say whatever they want. Get here to fight. Oh. 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 Oh.